and welcome to my life as a crazy bug lady. Today I'm going to be doing some rehousings and also a bit of a review, which is something that I've never done before, so I'm really excited to do that. And what we're going to be reviewing and rehousing into today are the Zilla Micro Habitats. They have um, a terrestrial and an arboreal option, and there's two sizes of each. Um, there's a small and a large arboreal and a small and a large terrestrial. So today I'll be showing you the small and large arboreal and just the large terrestrial. I decided not to go for the small terrestrial because it's only a 4x4x4, four by four by four, which is quite small and I find that I don't really have a need for one of those right now. But I imagine it's pretty similar to this one. So um, I think we'll just go ahead and jump right into the rehousing and then afterwards we'll kind of talk about my thoughts, overall thoughts on the enclosures and I'll let you know if I think they are worth it. Also, if my face looks crazy today, I had a touch up on my freckle tattoos so I look quite shiny and red, but that's why. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's just get right into what we're here to do. All right, so welcome once again to the living room floor. I have the enclosures here, um, the large arboreal, which looks like this, the small arboreal, which looks like this, and the large terrestrial, which looks like this. Okay, so I think there's nothing else to do other than jump right into the rehousings. I have my handy dandy tool kit here with my tongs and my paintbrushes and I think we'll just jump right into the rehousings. So first I'm thinking that we'll go ahead and rehouse into the large arboreal right here. Here is the large arboreal enclosure and in here we're going to be putting my re female regal jumping spider. She's very cute. She is right here and this is going to be a really big upgrade for her as you can see the difference in the enclosures. Is Quite a big difference so let's go ahead she will be very easy to rehouse because she's a very well behaved little girl so let's go ahead and pop her out you're gonna be really happy when you see what you're getting so there she is oh girl no you can't go back in you're gonna be so happy when you see your new home. Let's see if we can't get her to come out and say hello. Come on, girl. Oh! She's currently like back in the back, but um, as you can see, I have a nice big piece of cork. This is actually a live plant here and then some little decorative plants. Um, I'll get a better look of her in here, but I guess she was really ready for that rehousing. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and close her up. And it does have a locking mechanism. So I'm gonna lock the enclosure. <laughs> Not that she's really gonna do anything bad, but yeah. So here's her enclosure, perfect size for a jumping spider gives her some good space to explore, and I'm really happy to be able to offer her this upgrade. Here is the large arboreal enclosure. You can see the size difference here between the small and the large. This is a pretty good substantial sized enclosure for, especially for an arboreal enclosure. I feel like these are not easy to find. Like arboreal enclosures are not the easiest thing to find, especially at a pet store. You can find those critter keeper enclosures, which are good for terrestrial species, but for arboreal, it's kind of hard to find something. Um, so here's my jumping spider right here, <laughs> and I think this is a really nice size for her. As you can see, she's not too big of a girl, but she'll have a lot of space to frolic around, which I'm really happy to provide her because I feel like jumping spiders often don't get the amount of space they need. has the same locking mechanism in the front, and once again, it hinges open. <laughs> And you can see her lovely little home. I think that this is really awesome for her. And yeah, I was really happy to find an arboreal enclosure of this size available so easy to get. I think it could encourage people to provide more space to species that normally are not looked at as needing a lot of space, like jumping spiders. 
but yeah overall i think these are really good and i think they encourage better husbandry towards things like pet spiders just because they are often not given you know the enclosures that fully give them you know the potential that they deserve so, yeah, I think so next i think i'm gonna go ahead and rehouse into the small arboreal and um this is gonna be for my black widow um i think this is gonna be much better for her as this will give her a lot more space and I gave her plenty of webbing anchor points to, you know, web up to, so she can do her her little thing in here. Okay, so she's in here. A lot of webbing. She is in here, Miss Peaches. She is over here. You can see in. Okay, and this should be fairly easy as well. I'm just gonna point her in the direction of her new home and then just kind of urge her forward. Get out, girl. Okay, she's a little bit hesitant to go. actually playing dead there we go and she's in so she has a lot more space in here it's gonna be really cool to see her web up and you can see her little hourglass yeah I think it's really interesting how black widow spiders actually play dead when they're scared because you know people think they're these vicious monsters but they're actually pretty darn scared of us so yeah i really hope she enjoys this enclosure i really think she will here is the small arboreal enclosure so it has a similar locking mechanism here i really like that and then it hinges open oops sorry got stuck like this i really like the easy front access for the enclosures um, a good amount of size, really easy to access, again, really clear like the other. And here's my widow over here. I think she's a little bit freaked out by the rehouse, but again, has the venting system on the side, so a good amount of breathability in the enclosure, which I really like. And yeah, I really like the design of it. You just kind of hinge it back in and lock it up. Oops, it's hard to do with one hand. Oh, wrong way. Lock it back up. And you're all set. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and use the large terrestrial enclosure. This one is a really good size. I feel like there's a lot of space in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and rehouse my um, Grandma Stola Pulchra. So we're actually gonna do a tarantula into this one. And we're gonna go ahead and put him into this enclosure. So here is Binks, my Grandma Stola Pulchra. You can get a good look at him in the corner right there. And I think he's gonna do really well in this enclosure. Oh, he's coming out. Maybe he'll just go. Okay, let's see if he won't just like walk on over. wrong way okay I thought maybe he would just walk over but I don't think that's gonna happen come on come this way come, on, come over here come on sir Up and over. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep going. Yeah! <laughs> That's a rehab right there. <laughs> oh, 
So here's the large terrestrial enclosure. Um, it has a very nice size to it. Um, and here is the locking mechanism in the front. It is pretty secure. I really like that. And it opens up, has a latching system here. You could, ah, oh my God. Okay, this is not the plan. Um, okay, tarantula is back in the enclosure. So it is not the deepest enclosure on the market. So if you have a tarantula that likes to dig, this is not gonna be ideal. I am able to get about five inches of substrate in here, which will supply some digging for banks here, but really not the ideal amount for a tarantula that digs. Binx has never been one to dig, so I feel okay about this, but I would like to see a deeper enclosure. Um, but it looks really nice. I really like the size. I really like that it's very clear and nice. I can really enjoy my animals. The venting system is nice, a good amount of airflow in here. And it seems as though the water will be held in okay. The humidity will be held in okay. Here you can see the rubber bands that hold the system together. It does feel pretty sturdy. I do fear that if I dropped it, it wouldn't be so sturdy, but it does seem way sturdier than I was expecting for something like this. And Binks is just trying to be a little pain. All right, please excuse my giant mess that I have going on on the floor from those rehousings, but I really hope that you enjoyed not only the rehousing, but getting a good look at the Zilla microhabitat. What I do like about these is that you can find them very easily. You can find them, I got these at my local Petco, so it's kind of nice. You don't have to wait for them to come in the mail. You don't have to, you know, go special reptile store or anything like that to track these down. So that is a definite upside. I really like how clear they are. You're able to really see into the enclosure and really enjoy your animals, which is something that's really important to me as someone who keeps animals that like I can't really interact with. I love to just sit there and look at them. So being able to see into the enclosure is just a huge bonus for me. I really enjoy that. The process of putting it together was fairly simple and once you get the hang of it, you can absolutely, you know, get faster at setting up these enclosures. I think that, you know, it wasn't too hard. I am not handy at all, so you don't need any tools or anything like that. It would be nice having an enclosure come to you all set up and ready to go, but for something that, you know, is so easy to come by, I think it's not too hard that you have to put it together. Also, I do like the price range. It's very reasonable. I think the large ones were in the low 30s and the small enclosures were in the low 20s. So it's a very good deal for something like that. Something different than the normal like critter keeper enclosures. You can see a lot of my tarantulas in back here. I like that it's something different, kind of a more professional look. Um, the downside would be that you are supporting a big chain by buying these items. Of course, I'd rather support a small business. And I do want to look into um, shopping at places like Tarantula Cribs. I've heard they make really great enclosures. I just haven't gotten around you know, budget-wise and time-wise and all that to go ahead and order some, but it is on my list of things to do. So yeah, downside would be that you're supporting a large chain pet store, like if you buy this at Petco. Um, another downside would be you do have to assemble it. Um, oh, another upside I forgot to mention is the locking mechanism. It is quite nice. You have good amount of security knowing that your enclosures are locked up and your animal's not gonna come out and be running around your house. <laughs> Um, but yes, a possible downside could be that they could be a little bit on the flimsy side. I feel like if you drop the enclosure or if you knocked it over, something like that, it could definitely be at risk of breaking. They are not glued together. They're held together with these small bands. So there is always a chance that you could break them. Um, overall, I think that they're definitely worth the price and awesome for something that you can find easily at your pet store. If you want to start upgrading the look of your enclosures, I think it's a great place to start. I um, am really excited to try out something different. I think overall they are worth it. I do enjoy the smaller enclosures a little more than the larger enclosures, I think, just because the way they click in in the front has an extra little latch, which can be a little bit like annoying when you have to fumble with it. But overall, I do think they're pretty worth it. Let me know what you think. Have you tried these enclosures? And are there any other enclosures that you'd like me to review or any other products geared towards my type of animals, bugs? 
that you would like to see reviewed, let me know and I'd be really happy to look into it because I love checking out reviews before spending my money on things. I'm very like, I'll always check reviews. I always wanna see like what other people are thinking. And so if there's something you wanna know about, let me know and I'll be happy to check it out. Anyways, I really hope you enjoy it. I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you so much for stopping by and supporting me in my video. I'm getting really sweaty. <laughs> Oh, there's a cat hair in my eyelash. So yeah, you look awesome. You're doing great. You're killing it at life. Have a great awesome day and I'll see you hopefully next time. And oh, if you don't mind subscribing, I would really appreciate it. It would mean so much to me. And I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm just going on. Oh, it's so hot. It's hot. It's summer. <laughs> okay, bye.